Hi, I'm doing a little bass lesson here. I'm going to just play something with a drum machine and then just kind of talk about bass in general here, okay? same thing and then play a little differently and see if anybody notices what I'm doing different for the prize behind door number three or a thousand dollars whichever is higher let's try this something in the comments section. I'm going to talk about bass in general a little bit. A lot of the stuff on bass guitar, when I teach bass, I teach a little different than a lot of teachers do. And I'm really big on teaching about just playing notes in a row in different, uh, different patterns, different amounts of notes, forwards and backwards. So if I'm playing, like, like for example, with this beat, I just want to play notes in a row. seems simple but it's not as simple as it looks and play notes in a row forwards and backwards so I, I your fingers number one two three four so I would say let's play this pattern either forward across all four three things E A D to G or forward finger number one two three four starting on the high string to the low string okay so there's basically about four ways to play every drill okay you have the option of using a pick or using your two fingers 60s hey, it's the 60s wow. and um, if we're going to use a pick we want to get a really good back and forth motion I always tell my students it's like you're using a pick and it's like you're erasing something so I want to be able to if I play fast I want to get this motion back and forth and in some songs you don't see very much other than the wrist moving a little bit fingers sometimes when you're playing slow stuff you can cheat and use just one finger and if you're playing blues and stuff I find that to an advantage if I ever have a surfing so if I want to play the same thing I just play with just fingers it'd be like this Pretty close? Okay. So, let's pause for the moment and do part two.